Changes are coming on December 1st that will require livestock producers to have a prescription to get antibiotics. This is Rural Roots Canada, and I'm Eric Smith getting to the stem and meat of agriculture. Dr. Blake Baylog is the owner of Bow Valley Livestock Health in Brooks. The veterinarian says the changes mean developing a relationship between producers and vets. Is knowing your veterinarian and the veterinarian accepting that they're going to be working with you and your operation in terms of taking care of those animals and helping make uh, decisions on when prescription products are going to be used, particularly antibiotics, and that you're going to also follow through with that in terms of following those recommendations. And the veterinarian also needs to know, uh, you know, What are you treating? Have enough knowledge about that operation to be able to make those decisions. So sometimes that means we have to be on the operation or help establish animal health protocols to make that work. And then the veterinarian also needs to be available for follow-up whenever any critter is sick or when the protocol fails or anything along those lines. Baylog says developing that relationship is key. Right, we want to make sure that producers are using these prescription products in a prudent manner that uh, is actually minimizing the use of antimicrobials when necessary. So making it, putting in steps to either put in preventative uh, measures using vaccines or other dewormers or other products, products that might actually limit our use of antimicrobials and other prescription products that we don't want to be using. So, so a lot of that is uh, is is trying to minimize use to to improve your bottom line or actually reduce your bottom line cost too as well. He says communication is key in this relationship. So I think there's some grounds to be had in terms of having that animal health discussion and that herd health discussion with your veterinarian uh, so that we can actually make this all easier for us as well as probably leverage some other opportunities where the veterinarian might be able to give you insight into other areas to improve your operation. Baylog spoke at the recent Rural Roots Canada Rolling Hills Ag Day. For more on the changes coming up and hear more from Dr. Baylog, go to ruralrootscanada.com. For Rural Roots Canada, I'm Eric Smith getting to the stem and meat of agriculture. Rural Roots Canada would like to thank all of our sponsors for supporting the 2018 Rolling Hills Ag Day.